how to use the search options in your ReFX account. Whenever you log in to your ReFX account, you will be directed here to the search section. As you can see, we have this section divided in two parts. The search parameters that we'll see them to the left and the map that we'll have to the right of your screen. To the left, as I, as I mentioned, we have all the search parameters and on top of the dotted line, we have the basic parameters. Here we have the location where you will be able to tap the full address of the property you want to look for the ReFX number or the folio number. You can also select the state and the county of that state. You can select also the city, zip code, database that you want to look, type of property, foreclosure, probate and like state. In some parameters, for example in zip code, you will be able to look for more than one option. So for example, I can Select the option multiple contains and type multiple parameters, multiple zip codes in this case. Also, I can exclude these particular zip codes, selecting multiple not contained and typing those as well. Please notice that as I move along on my search on my selection of parameters, I will have them here on this column. Here I'll have all the parameters that I've been selecting. If I want to remove any of these parameters, all I need to do is go on top of it and select the X. And that will remove that parameter. In type of property, remember you can select single family homes, condos, towns or village, Multifamily plus or minus 10, commercial properties, vacant land, mobile homes, or others. In foreclosures, we can select properties that are either foreclosed, pre foreclosed, none of them, or any of them. In probate, you can select if you want these properties to be in probate status or no. Same thing with life state. We can navigate throughout all our database options using the data filter. So right now we're in public records, but if I want to go to the for sale options, I simply click on the drop down menu and select for sale. On the public record parameters, we'll have very important parameters such as market value, market media, debt to equity. Also for some counties, will have the tax delinquent where you'll be able to filter according to the tax debt year or tax debt amount you'll have the owner information you will be able to filter according to the owner information this gives you many options so for example in name we can exclude certain words for example not contains bank INC or LLC and we can select the option phone number not empty. Again please notice that everything I'm selecting here is being added here on this search parameters column. We also have the value information and other filters. If we change and we go to the for sale parameters, you'll see things like listing price, HOA fees, financial, based on market, and active or potential equity. We also have the for, for rent filters. the for sale by owner filters, the foreclosure filters, here you have the case number, the holder name, mortgager, mortgage date, and you can also filter according to the attorney information or the auction date or amount. 
we also have the mortgage filters, amount, recorded date, and document options. And we also have the probate filters, where you can filter according, for example, the published date, the deceased name, the information of the representative, or the attorney. If you have any questions about what does this mean, what does this filter mean, remember you will always have this interrogation mark. Well, you will be able to click, and this will display the information or the explanation to what does this refer to. Here on the right side, as I mentioned, we have the map. We can zoom in to the area that we want. So I'm zooming into Florida. And I can drag it and I can keep zooming in. So I can be on the area that I'm more interested. And we have several selecting options. We have a square, so I can click on this and select a specific area with my square. I have the polygon tool, which allows me to select an irregular area that I want. And we also have the circle. Remember that whenever uh, you select the circle, where you place the mouse and click, that will be the center of the circle, just like that. So we can make it wider or a little bit smaller. If you want to simply delete all this, we have the Erase button. We can zoom also using this button, zoom in or zoom out. We can go full screen with our map. So you can be more comfortable doing your search according to the map. Or if you want, instead of the map view, we can change to the satellite view. Again, having the same options of zooming in or out and selecting using the tool you prefer. If you want to go back to the search, simply click on this button and you will be taken right where we were before. On the top of your search options, we'll have on the first place these three buttons. These correspond to the subdivision name report, x-ray report, and this can report. These are reports that will be generated based on the area that we selected using either the search parameters or the map. And we have videos that explain each report separately, so if you're interested, please go ahead and check them out. Also, we have the Find GPS Location option. Here, we'll be able to look for properties in a 0.5 mile radius of where we are right now. Whenever you select this button, Find GPS Location, the system will turn on the GPS of my device and it will look for properties that are, again, by default, in a 0.5 mile radius and that fulfill the criteria that I selected here on my search parameter. If I want to start all over again with my search, I can click here on Clear Search and all the parameters will be erased, bringing me back to my default option. And finally, we have the button of Manage Search, which allows me to either save or load any searches that I already have saved in my ReFX account. ReFX offers to any of their users pre-save the searches and you will be able to identify them because they say RFX at the beginning of each one of them. So feel free to use them and to experiment a little bit with them. So these are all the options that you can have in the search section of your ReFX account.